You even, Francis, you even used the word Pachamama. You identified them with the Amazonian goddess. We baptized Catholics and Christians want to follow you. We want to be proud of you. We want to be loyal. But it seems impossible now. It seems impossible. If my father, we have to honor our father, fourth commandment. Honor your father. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. If my father says, worship an idol, I can't do it. And that, and that kind of brings me to a final question before we sign off here. Francis, do you want us, do you want me, Taylor Marshall, to get on my knees before one of these Pachamamas? Is that your will for me? You're my ultimate, apparently, allegedly, you're ultimately my pontifex, my shepherd, my pastor, my leader, the vicar of Christ on earth, allegedly. We all wonder now. Do you desire for me, Taylor Marshall, a Catholic, to get on my knees before the Pachamama? Would you, as my pastor, lead me to get on my knees, maybe even get on my knees and put my hands and my head on the ground? Would you want me to teach my wife and my eight children and the little Maggie that you kissed in the Pope Mobile many years ago? She's grown up now. She's turned four. Would you want me to teach them to do that? Should I acquire a Pachamama idol? And in our home, in our, our altar, should I take down the image of Our Lady and put the Pachamama up? Or should I put them both up? Crucifix, Sacred Heart, Immaculate Heart, Pachamama. Should I teach my wife in order to reverence life and fertility and Mother Earth she needs to bow down to Pachamama Idol. That's the message I'm getting from Francis. Francis, that's what you're teaching us with your words and your example, that you want us to do that, and we can't do it. We must obey legitimate authority, and that is not legitimate. If you say, either by your words or your actions, you should get on your knees and put your head to the earth and prostrate before a Pachamama statue, we cannot follow you there. It's impossible. Francis, do you want our priests to erect similar Pachamama statue idols in the parishes? Is it your will that when we go to church on Sunday, there's a rainbow net draped over the altar, that there's blankets on the ground, that there's trinkets images of little little men, snakes? Do you want us in our homes to have images of bare-breasted women suckling pigs? You put it in a church. A church is a place for men, women, and children. It's intended for them to see. If children go into that church, they would see a bare-breasted woman suckling a pig. Francis, do you want me to show that image to my children. Is that what you desire? Because that's what I'm assuming right now, that you desire for me, for my children to know that everything is connected just as that little piglet is connected to that woman's breast. So Francis, do you want me to worship Pachamamas? Do you want me to teach my children to worship Pachamamas or any of these sim symbolic statues that aren't Jesus, aren't Our Lady, aren't the saints? Do you want me to bring them into my home? And then do you want our priests back home to do the same thing, to set these things up? We want to know. And I'll tell you right now, I will never do it. I will never do it. You will kill me before I expose my children to these things. You will literally have to kill me. Is Pachamama now part of Catholic iconography? Should we commission art? Is this now part of catechism 
We buy our children little Catholic books that we read them at night about saints and devotions and sacraments and stories. Should we have a little chapter on a Pashamama? Should I tell my little daughters, one day you'll become a symbol of life. You'll be fertile. You'll be like Mother Earth and have children. You'll be like a Pachamama. Francis, do you want me to teach my daughters that? It's impossible. I will never do it. I will never do it. Christ is king, not these little wooden idols. And then I would also ask you, Francis, do you worship idols? Do you get on your knees and put your palms on the ground and your head on the earth to this or any other religious statue, no matter what it symbolizes? Not statues of our Lord Jesus that are blessed, not statues of Our Lady or saints, icons, images, crosses, crucifix. Francis, do you reverence, worship idols? We want to know. If you do, we can't follow you. We only follow legitimate authority. Thomas Aquinas says we only follow legitimate authority. If your bishop says, go jump off the cliff, you say no. If your bishop says, uh, whatever, anything nonsensical, step on a crucifix, you say no. And if the Pope says, worship a Pashamama, we say no. Hell no. We will never do it. It is impossible. It is against the faith. Francis, we also want to know, are you a heretic? Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe every verse of the Bible as coming from the Holy Ghost? Do you believe that the Bible is true? When the Bible recounts miracles of our Lord Jesus Christ, do you believe those are historical miracles? Do you believe the literal and historical meaning of the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed? Do you believe in the seven sacraments, transubstantiation? Are you a heretic or not? We want to know. Because of all the things going on, things that you have said, you have written, We Catholics, we the baptized, don't know anymore. We don't know whether or not Francis is a heretic or not. It's frightening for me to even say it. I can't even believe I am saying it right now. All of this comes down to whether you worship idols Francis, whether you are heretic, whether you are the vicar of Christ. And how do we understand that? How do we as baptized Catholics honor you, respect you, pray for you, pray for your intentions every night in the rosary when we're not sure what your intentions are? How do we proceed? You may not see this video. You may not know who I am or even care. Probably won't ever see this. It's fine. But I just felt like I had to reach out and say something. I want clarity. I love being a Catholic. I love Jesus Christ. I love the church. I love Our Lady. I love the saints. I love our liturgy. I love the Roman Rite. I love the Vatican. I like to get there early, 7 a.m., when it's quiet, and see all the masses. Mm. I've been to masses early on, 2015, 2016. Masses with you, Francis. I was at 2015 Corpus Christi Mass with you. I was at 2016 Corpus Christi Mass. Um, We've shaken hands. It's not much. And early on, I tried to defend you. I tried to make it work. But here we are, October 25th, 2019. We're in the midst of this Amazon Synod. And we Catholics 
who are trying to believe. I'm trying to make Council of Trent fit into this square hole. And it doesn't fit. And I think you know it doesn't fit either, Francis. So where do we go from there? Well, I know Christ is true. I know Christ rose from the dead. I know that he's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I know that Our Lady gave birth to the Son of God. She's the mother of God. She stood at the foot of the cross with Jesus. She wept. I believe in the one church, historical church. I believe in the seven sacraments. I believe in the Trinity. I believe in every page and verse of the New and Old Testaments, including the Deuterocanonicals. I am all in. I believe what the church teaches on contraception and abortion and human sexuality. I have not been a perfect Christian or a perfect Catholic, but I believe it and I've tried to follow my conscience and to do everything the church teaches on faith and morals. Whether that means having eight kids or, you know, I was an Episcopalian minister and I got rid of that and I became a Catholic. I put it all on the line to be a Catholic. And this week, this week, I can't make it fit because of what you are doing, Francis. I'll read that passage again from, from 2 Corinthians. Let's see if I can put it back up on the back up on the screen here. Here we go. I'm going to leave everybody with this verse. 2 Corinthians 6.16 And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God, as God saith. I will dwell in them and walk among them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. I truly believe Jesus is with us. He walks amongst us and he does not approve of these idols. He does not approve of mixing the table of Christ with the table of devils. Let us pray. In nomine Patris et Fidi et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater Noster, qui es in Cedis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, se libera nos malo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in morieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et et mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri, et Filio, et Spiritu e Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritu Sancti. Amen. All right, everyone. Pray the rosary. Draw close to Jesus. Read the scriptures. Read First and Second Maccabees. I'm doing that right now. Pray the rosary every day. Pray for this situation. And the words of St. John. I'll close with that. First John 5.21 Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen.